the thrill of discovery is what gets most of us, particularly in the exploration space of geology, like really enthused and passionate. If you're lucky enough to be, to find it with your bare hands as well, or with your team, like it's just, it's just something that gets us out of bed in the morning. Hi, my name's Jess Askew and I'm an exploration geologist. If you could describe your work in one sentence, what would it be? Professional rock licker. If I could describe my... You just paraphrase that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it's just a statement. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> So what that means in normal people terms is that before there's a mine, there's a guy that goes running around in the bush, um, has a lot of different data sets and uses that research to kind of figure out what's going on. So sometimes it will be nothing around except, you know, a small team in a ute or running around in a canyon in the desert, just putting in what our theories are into practice and then hoping that we discover something. The area that I specialise in is I look for gold and copper. So half the time I'm hoping that I can find some beautiful rocks that are stained with blue or green minerals. So they happen to be our secondary uh, copper oxides of malachite and azurite. What fascinates me most about the rocks is it's, it's like kind of solving a puzzle. You know, nature takes its time doing anything. It's not rushed. You know, you look at the way that a cave is formed where you've got this beautiful limestone and drip by drip, it is slowly over thousands and thousands of years has turned into this beautiful cavity. So there's a thing that we talk about in geology, which is the more rocks that you see, the better geologist you'll be. So I've been across all parts of South America, New Zealand, uh, Indonesia, and just getting to see how a lot of these systems, particularly like all bodies themselves, somewhat relate and are different, just all kind of builds to the knowledge of getting out there and finding ore deposits. There's been quite a few times where I've been out in the field and I've had moments where I'm like, I can't believe I get paid for this. It's like I'm outside in nature. I always knew that I couldn't really handle a sedentary lifestyle. You know, to be having my lunch break on the most beautiful hill surrounded by rocks, like, it's my dream come true. The types of terrains that we encounter can be anywhere from really extreme to like cruisy doozy, you know, just walking through a paddock. In the extreme ones, if we're out on a mapping campaign, you could be walking over really sharp escarpments. You could be having very, very loose ground. From time to time, you know, we do work in quite wet environments. And so you really need your boots or your gear just to be able to withhold a lot of rain. I'd like to be super ambitious. So in the next five to 10 years, I'm hoping that as a part of a team, we find the next major ore deposit and, you know, we're really really, really excited and driving the, the thrill of discovery. You know, to be part of the team to go out there and shake it up and have something new and exciting, like there's something to dream big and aspire to.